Professor Pineco here, bringing you trainer tips. Today we're going to talk about what makes a great catching Pokemon team. This team will be specifically geared to help you hunt for shiny Pokemon. But shiny Pokemon aren't that different from normal Pokemon, so this team also excels at catching normal and legendary Pokemon too. The first Pokemon you should have ha should have flame body or magma armor. This will help you to hatch any eggs you have in your party. Talonflame is a great choice in the 6th generation. It is easy to catch and it can learn fly, a move that no team should be without. Able, it's able to be caught on Route 2. Watch out though if this Pokemon is in the front of your party, as Flame Body will also burn opponents. This makes them a lot easier to catch, but can cause a problem because they tend to faint once they're burned. The next Pokemon in your team should ha uh, should be able to learn Sweet Scent, which allows you to encounter Horde Pokemon, a great place to hunt for rare or shiny Pokemon, or to use to level up with experience. The Pokemon I recommend for this is the Oddish Line. By teaching the Oddish Line Sleep Powder, Dazzling Gleam, and Petal Blizzard, in addition to Sweet Scent, it can track down and defeat just about any horde you find. Sleep Powder, of course, is perfect to subdue a group with a shiny Pokemon in it, just to be safe. Sleep Powder, however, cannot be used on a Grass-type Pokemon, so that is something to keep in mind. You can encounter Oddish in the tall grass on Route 6 in front of Parfum Palace. The third Pokemon should have Suction Cup ability which increases the chance you'll find Pokemon while fishing to nearly 100%, so long as it's in the front of your party. Aside from being useful all by itself, it makes chain fishing for shiny Pokemon much easier. I recommend Inkay for this because he's both cute and easy to find. Suction Cups is also, also useful in encounters, where Pokemon who are trying to get, uh, get away uh, with Whirlwind or Roar uh, cannot actually flee from battle. You can find this Pokemon on Route 8. The fourth Pokemon you should have on your team should either have Illuminate or Arena Trap, which triples the encounter rate if the Pokemon is in the lead. This is great for looking for shiny Pokemon or for leveling up. I do recommend Pat Rat for this because it can also learn Mean Look, which prevents Pokemon from running away, and Hypnosis, which helps put Pokemon to sleep that you cannot subdue with Sleep Powder. Now, one thing I am going to mention, in a lot of my videos, you'll notice that I use a Lantern. And the reason why I use a Lantern with Illuminate instead is the fact that it can learn Surf and Dazzling Gleam. You catch Pat Rat on Route 15. Don't be afraid to use everything available to you, like O powers. Using encounter power increases the amount of wild encounters. Use illuminate and you'll see a Pokemon every few steps. Moves that people don't really think of using are HP power and PP, uh, HP restoring power and PP restoring power. These will restore the HP and the PP of the lead Pokemon in your party, which will save you a lot of trips to the, po uh, to the Pokemon Center. The, uh, also, you can use Bargain Power to decrease the cost of shopping by up to half. It's perfect for stocking up on all of your Pokeballs. And don't forget, you can also use Hatching Power to make your eggs hatch faster. Also a tip with the O powers is to actually take it out in the real world and walk around with it. If you get over 4,000 steps, you'll max out your O powers and you'll be able to, uh, and the bar will refill a lot faster. Thank you for joining me for trainer tips. I hope all of your Pokemon shine.